there's a moment. The brain stops fighting for survival, and instead, it begins shutting parts of you down. Psychologists call this protective dissociation. It happens when pain crosses a threshold. Your nervous system can no longer carry the hippocampus. Your memory center starts blurring details, protecting you from reliving every wound again and again. The amygdala, the alarm bell of the brain, goes quiet, refusing to ring even when danger is real. And dopamine, the very chemical that makes life feel meaningful, begins to dry up from the outside. You may look calm, controlled, maybe even strong, but inside, you've gone cold, detached, half alive. And here's the paradox. This isn't weakness. It's your brain's final defense. It's last attempt to keep you standing when everything feels unbearable. But survival has a cost. You don't just numb the pain, you numb the joy too. Love feels distant, excitement fades. The spark that makes life vivid turns into static. Many survivors describe it as living behind glass, watching their own life play out, but never truly stepping into it. And here's the haunting truth. Unless your nervous system learns safety again, you, they're frozen, present in the room, but never fully alive in your own story. So let me ask you, if survival meant silencing every feeling you had, would you still call that living?